Today we will talk about creating work orders in QuickBooks Online. As we know, there is no way that we can create work orders on QuickBooks Online, but we'll do that th today through a workaround. A work order is usually a task or a job for a customer that can be scheduled or assigned to someone. In my case, I will demonstrate how to use work orders to account for job costing. First, we'll need to create an uninventory item. I called it Big Job Code, but you can name it anything on your site. We'll have to go to edit here to show you what I put. The description is Big Job Code on my side here, and the part number as you can see. Then the important thing is to put the income account and the expense account. I put the income account as job material, and expense account as job material. You can still also put it anything on your site, but it has to be income here on this side and expense on this side. We'll need it in, in, the, in the next step. Okay, so we'll need to create an invoice. As you can see here, new and then invoice and then choose choose a job and then we can still the we can, we can fill the information that we need here and then in my case here what i want to do is i have some parts that i want to send to the location to the customer or to the job location so i want to account for that i want to record the cost on the customer and I also want to deduct the items from the inventory so what I will do now is I'll choose any item like this and we'll need to uh, actually remove the tax because this is internal process there is no actual sales transaction so we put the quantity and the rate as we can see and then the important part here this, is, this has to be all positive okay the important part here is to put the big job code here but the amount has to be negative okay so as we can see this is the total amount we'll have to put it and negative why did we do that we did that because we want the amount here to be zero otherwise there will be amount posted to the accounts receivable and we don't want this because there is no actual sales transaction here we did that to account for costs and to deal with the inventory by the way there is one way to do that through the deleted charge but if you have inventory parts it will not deduct the parts when you put them as line items in the deleted charge for the transaction it can only record the costs but it will not deal with the inventory so this is a way to deal with the inventory here because we we send some parts we need to deduct these parts from the inventory at the same time we don't want to create sales invoice and also we still want to put the costs so i will show you uh, all that now so we put that here as positive and this is negative here on this line so save and close or maybe save and new because i want to show you something save and new Okay, and then I will go to this invoice again. And then transaction journal. Okay, this is an important part here. Accounts receivable is zero. This is very important, okay? Part sales 
there is an amount here oh okay don't worry it's offset offset on the other side here as you can see 7899 7899 okay and this is a negative amount if we remember okay uh inventory asset okay we deducted the inventory here and then cost of goods sold this is a cost here on the job perfect so let's go to the job here projects okay you can see here 36.11 this is a cost of goods sold okay and there is no income very good and project reports project profitability okay this is positive negative then zero yeah, that's correct then cost of goals hold there is a there is an amount here perfect so everything is good okay by the way if we go again to to the sales invoice that we just created or the work order actually okay if we if we can press on that here customize and choose work order then try to print well it's a work order now that's perfect we can print it for our records and as you know you can customize that from here custom form style and then copy the invoice and then customize it name it as you like and then also if you want to customize the design or anything inside you can do that and that's it for today and we did actually what we wanted to do was a flexible way and we deducted the inventory we put the costs and everything is correct and that's what we actually need to account for job costing thank you